Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today it's Green Monday and we're at the Potamus so it's the start of Lent today, Green Monday and it's tradition to come out and have a picnic there's a picnic going on over there family and another family down there having a picnic and also fly kites it's a kite flying day so we've brought our kites and our picnic there's the car and we've got some chairs there we are we're going to put the chairs out now for our picnic on the beach beautiful day it's about 18 degrees and as I said we're down here at Leo Bedry Potamus beach it's very difficult to get in here guys lovely sand though look but hard to get in the sea we won't be going in the sea today we're having our picnic and flying our kites we're really lucky today it's quite windy look great for kite flying and these little kites are doing really well look at these they're the ones that you get out the uh, pound shop guys little pound shop ones and they're doing really well look at that fantastic and normally a green Monday we don't have this much wind so uh, it's a perfect day there's a lovely breeze and it's lovely and sunny look at that now I've got me uh, stunt kite got a show off ain't you guys got a show off there's the stunt kite there we are and I'll be launching that in a minute once I set the strings up oh one's died what's happened to that one oh it's uh the owner's just gone into the car now there's a barbecue going on down there guys and one further down and it is tradition today to eat fish no meat today no red meat just fish calamari and things like that so there we are they're having fish i presume but we're not guys we're not going to stick to the tradition we'll just have a picnic there we go actually there's not a lot of wind for the stunt kite oh i think we're going to cross lines oh nearly lost it maybe if i bring it down there's a little bit more wind no nope. a little bit higher i think there we are i think that's a perfect angle for the wind there we are oh. Yeah, I think guys, if it's higher, it's much better. There we are. I've got more control of it when it's quite high up. So we've got egg rolls at the moment and cold drinks in there. Now these uh, pound kites have been flying all day. I've put uh, some new string on this one, haven't we? That one's got new string, but the other ones are fine. The others are coming with uh, looks like a fishing line. Okay. How's your one doing? Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to have a go at the stunt kite again. See if I can just stay up for a little longer. Right, it looks like we've got loads of kites going up now. Look, there's two over there. If you can see them on the camera. There's one here, it's an eagle one further down and there's a family just beyond the black car and they're about to launch looks like two more kites so look let's have a look around here now not a lot going on further down just the kites at this side and it looks like they've finished their barbecue Look, there's a little paddling pond, isn't there, down there? Lovely. I'm going to try the paddling pond. Look, it's nice and soft here. There's some shells around. Oh, beautiful shells. Look. Look at these. Oh, 
let's go down to the pond. So you can see that it's all rocky along here. But if you go right down near the restaurant, you can actually get in the sea down there. That's the fish restaurant. We have done a couple videos down at the fish restaurant. Now we did come down a few weeks ago and updated you guys on the renovation of the Potamus or the little harbour down there. Look, there's a little pond. Let's try to see, see if it's cold. Now it's uh, end of February. Oh, it's not too bad, it's not cold at all. You can keep your feet in. Actually, the other day, I did spot quite a few swimmers down at Brodara. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, it feels gorgeous. It's a little island. Oh, look, you can see the new Ayanapa Marina. Great big twisted tower. There's a Fekla. And they're actually putting a bridge over the little harbour so you can cross the bridge and come to this side. If you go down here, follow this road right down, go down to the end, you can see the um, fish farm. And actually you can buy fish down the fish farm if there's someone there. And if you look out, you can just make out, looks like little islands, little floating islands. So that's the actual fish farm out at sea. Now they have got little breeding tanks inside the fish farm. And then they take them out to those giant pontoons out at sea. Right, let's just go on to the rocks. Are they slippery? No, not at all actually. Oh, I thought they'd be a bit slimy and slippery, but they're not. I think if you come down here with your sea shoes, you'd be okay. You can walk on the rock and slowly make your way out. There's a deep end down there, it's not too far. I think as long as you just make your way a little bit out and then flop into the sea, don't try to walk all the way out. Right, let's have a look at the kites. Oh look, they've got those two other kites up. So we've got uh, loads, look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, three of our ones, nine, and then there's one over there, 10. Oh, and there's some further down, 11, 12. 12 kites, wow. Now guys, look, there's some interesting seaweed here. Or plants, can you see? Now I will be setting up my fish tank in a few weeks time. I'll video it for you guys if you're interested. Now I wonder if these would be good in a tropical fish tank. And these are really for salt water, aren't they? We'll have to Google that guys. Because they're quite nice plants, look. A lovely sort of uh, purpley colour. Free plants for the fish tank. They look ideal. Well, I'm not sure if there will be any good in freshwater aquarium. One minute, I think the tide's coming in. Oh no. Oh look, there's a bit of a launch area here for a small boat. It's got to be quite narrow. Or maybe when it's high tide. Oh, just over there. Okay, let's make our way back towards the picnic because I think 
we've got cake now. Let's go down. We have to be careful. As I said, not too slippery. There we go. Down we go. Looks like we've got coconut cake, my favourite custard tart, and chocolate cake. And the chocolate cake's been cut in four. That's one slice, really, because you got it from the bakery. And that's one slice cut in four. That's a good idea. There you go. Oh, oh wow, look at those. Oh, can we just throw these away? Because look at these ones that just turned up. Oh, wow. They look amazing. What are they? Do you know? Profiteroles. Oh, they're profiteroles. Why not? Not doing very well today. My stunt kite won't go. This one, the string was broken halfway through. Look, it just flew away into them bushes. So I'm going to see if I can go and recover it. It's in there somewhere. Let's go and have a look. God, it's boiling hot today. Definitely a beach day. Right, let's go through these bushes. Look out for snakes. Over here. Now I'm going, I'm sure it's off towards my right somewhere. Yes. Oh, look at these, look. It's an unusual landscape, isn't it? Got rocks and grass. Through the bushes. Yeah. And we'll go round. Oh, there's a road. Look at this. I wonder if it's landed in the road. Or is it a road? Yeah, it's a road. Yeah. I can't see it anywhere. Yeah, look, overgrown road. I bet that goes down to the fish farm. You know, I think it's round here somewhere in these bushes. There's the other two kites. They're in this direction. So I'm guessing our ones landed round here somewhere. Oh, watch it. Oh dear. It would have been handy if it landed in the road. Oh, there's an open space. Ouch, ouch. Round here. Still can't see it. Of course, it's gone a long way. Doesn't look promising. Can't see it anywhere. Be on top of these uh, bushes if it's anywhere. Let's go in the jungle. See if we can locate our kite. There's an open space coming up. Oh, through here. And there. Now we are making lots of noise, so. Uh, if there is a snake around it, it's scuttle off. Can't see it. Alright, let's go further into the jungle and then make our way out. Lucky it was only a pound. I'm going further in, still can't see it. Ugh. The quest for the lost kite. We could do with a drone, find the kite. That's an idea guys. Should look into that, getting a drone.
Well, I think it's lost. I'm not giving up yet because I've got some open spaces around here. Look, you can see around here there's some open spaces. So I might be able to spot it unless it's gone in between the trees. There's another road down there. Wow. Well, that's oh, what's that? I can see some sort of string, but it's a uh, purple in colour. Oh, what's this? One minute. There's another string here. Looks like someone else has lost a kite. Look, there it is. There's the string to it. Let's just pull it. See, it's where it's leading to, and then we'll follow that. Oh, one minute, I can see the kite, it's right down there. But I've got another string here for another kite, so I'm not sure if I've located my kite or somebody else's. Anyway, well, let's go to the other end of this string, wind it up, and then uh, I'll go down in that direction and see if that's my kite down there or whether it leads to this purple string or well, it's more like a bluey purple color string there's a lot of it it's going up off over those trees i'm winding it up and see what's on the other end oh i can see it wow there's the string looks like it's got a knot in it it's a lot of string There we go, look, there's a knot. Let's give it a yank. Carry on. Down. Ah, oh, I think I've located the kite, guys. So I'm gonna go and grab this kite anyway, and then see if I can find my way back to the string and pick up that ball string. And then we can go and locate my kite. There it is there, look. It's a little girly one. Right, it looks like it's homemade. Here we are, some bits of plastic, bits of wood. And we'll see if we can roll it up now and take it back and locate the owner maybe. Well, we're getting there. It's an adventure anyway. So I've got to, all this string and this amazing handmade kite. And we'll carry on. Now I'm back on this road here and I can remember that our kite is down there on the left. Actually, our kite is probably quite easy to recover as opposed to this one here right it was down here on my left I'm gonna keep a look out just spot it I think it's in that bush over there I won't be able to see the line no nope, it's disappeared maybe someone's picked that one up let's have a look around here no it's not there Let's go a little bit forward and then uh, we'll go back. Right, we've tried to locate the owner of this kite and we haven't been able to. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and fly it and if the owner comes along, we can pass it over to him. Right, so we're not going to use all that string and we're taking part of the tail off because I think that's what brought it down. This sort of old bits of the towel. I've used right tie it up and see if it flies can't it's too heavy this kite it's got too much wood on it on the back so unfortunately 
it doesn't fly. It must have flown before because it flew up in the air and got stuck in those bushes at the back. But I think the wind's died down a bit more now. Oh, the wind's picked up a bit. It's difficult. Come on, come on up. That's it. It's back up. Very difficult to fly. There we go. As soon as that wind picks up a bit, it's really easy with a stunt kite. But sometimes the wind dies on you. There, it's dying now. Bring it back round. Round we go. There we go. Well, that was a great picnic, wasn't it? Excellent. So, um, we've lost one kite. Two of the kites we did lose temporarily. There they are. We've recovered two anyway. Then the back of the car. There's some afters left over there. We'll um, eat them after. Maybe tonight. There's the stunt kite. We won't try that again. There's the kite we recovered. Doesn't fly. And there's a massive ball string from the kite that I recovered. So we'll tidy everything up and make our way home. Hope you enjoyed that uh, Green Monday picnic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.